discussion about uh, the Subway Superman guy. Who isn't? Everyone is just uh, talking about this guy, and not one person in the media wants to acknowledge that this guy is a illiterate kook. He's a nut, and he's illiterate. I, 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 I was saying everybody's <laughs> giving his kids scholarships, uh, money, trips to Disney World, things like that. Why can't one person – look, I'll fess up. I'll fess up some cash to get this guy an education himself. He cannot speak. He is in uh, the public eye now. He's doing a letterman. He's been interviewed by every news program, including the Ron and Fez show. How did that happen? Ron Excuse and Fez me. got him? Where's our producer? Black Earl got the Subway Superman well, for yeah. Ron and Fez. He had the inside, uh, you know, oh, that's the inside right. angle. Yeah, that's true. And uh, we don't get him. We get nobody. I know. We get nobody. That's uh, one of the problems with this radio. He's show. in the public eye. He's speaking. And this man, why can't someone just call out the fact that he cannot speak? He can't. He sounds like a blithering idiot. Give him money to go back to school. Yeah, give him some cash. Why is this one person saying give him cash? I think he's fine. He was yesterday when he was talking about the train coming. He had he put one feet here and one feet there. <laughs> one feet here, one feet there. Oh, wait till you hear his Letterman appearance. <laughs> oh wow! Was it? holy Jesus Palomino. <laughs> I had a better appearance, and I didn't even talk. <laughs> oh god! Wait, uh, wait for the uh, the latest audio on the oh. Subway Superman. But not one person. Except for us. That's why this. I just want to let the listeners know this show is very, very different than everything else out there. You'll you'll get a little bit of something that uh, other people aren't talking about when you hear the same story being talked about. It's simple it, as this: you're on a subway platform, and a uh, a defected human falls onto the rails. <laughs> yeah. And your two kids are right next to you. Your two little kids. And you're jumping in, in the middle of the tracks as a as a subway's coming. You got you're a to kook. you got to uh, kind of assess the situation, I think, and and do the uh, pros and cons all in that split second, like instinctual uh, moment. You have to look at your life and see if being the hero is the thing to do or being the responsible parent. And and that. but th this guy just listening to him speak. I don't think he has that in his head. He just saw something and did it. They they call it being a hero. Uh, I call it being a dummy. Yeah, your responsibility is to your two small to your kids, kids that are right next dope. to you on the platform. If you're some single guy that wants to be a hero, something like that, and you you're, think you're a secret agent. <laughs> and you're still living with your mom and dad in, right. in the basement of uh, the house you grew up in and you work at a deli. All right, go for it. What yeah, your hell? head gets caved in. Who's really going to care? You have nothing to lose. Ah, I like the way that guy made my coffee. It's pretty much the only people that are going to mourn. Ah, he made a good ham and Swiss. <laughs> Put just the right amount of mustard on it. Yeah, but... I'm going to miss him. Not two <laughs> kids. But all these stupid talk shows talking about how he's a hero, he's courageous, and and blah, 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 blah. What about the the, the, the cuckoo angle? The cuckoo factor and the, the just the plain, simple fact that he's adult. <laughs> Get the man an education. Stop giving everyone else... Uh, uh, in his family money, look, here he is speaking with uh, Mayor Bloomberg here in New York, who just handed him over a check. Boy, he's getting checks, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. And there he is with Donald Trump, and here's representatives from Disney giving his kids a uh, uh, little Disney years and Mickey dolls. Hey, get, the, get the guy in education. He's stupid. Momo said I said defected instead of uh, defective. Well, it's, <laughs> well, it's effing early, Momo. Help me out here. <laughs> Don't make fun of me until 6.30. Give me a half hour to wake up. You get my point. The guy's a kook. I'll give Opie the benefit of the doubt until he starts sounding like this stupid Subway Superman. Yeah, thank you. Then we have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to have to take you aside and have a little sit down. Have a powwow. I'll tell you one thing. This Subway Superman can't leap over. It's a pile of tall books. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly is. a. He's just an ass. He might be able to leap over oh. him just to get away from him. Get the guy some schooling. He's just a... I, I like him. I mean, I like what he did. He's a very likable guy is what it is. He's got a personality. And another thing the news will exploit is the fact that he sounds like a dope when he okay. speaks. It, if he was well-spoken, uh, boring, they wouldn't be putting him on the news. The fact is he says things like feats 
and and, and <laughs> wait till you hear the audio. Yeah, we got the audio now. Letterman, he he says, drugged by a train. <laughs> He said drugged by a train? Drugged by where, where did he get that nice suit from? Oh, come on. I'm just watching that handshake he got from Letterman. Hey, Letterman, you son of a bitch. That's a nicer welcome and warm-up than I got. No kidding. Look, I, they, I gave a a, they gave him a suit, and it looks like he just jumped on another person on the subway tracks with it on. Look how what a mess it is. Yeah, how do you mess up a brand new suit so fast? Uh, anyway, some guy from his cell phone. The reason you don't get interviews is because Opie punches the audience. <laughs> and last when a guy says he jumped off a bridge. <laughs> All right. When did I punch the audience? I haven't punched the audience in a while. It's been years. Oh, you missed that when he went to put his arm around the mayor and the mayor moved. Oh, yeah, of course did he? He did. And now there's a new hero anyway in New York City. Uh, a couple guys that uh, caught a baby from a, from a fifth story window. Nah. So now, uh, you know, Subway Superman is already on page 16. Page 16? He went from front page to 16 fast. It's oh, not good. Is he page 16 already? And, and you know what's going to happen with this guy. You could see it in his eyes. We talked about it yesterday. There's either something in his past that's going to come out any moment now. Yeah. Yep. Or this guy will try to save someone else down the road, and he will be dead. He'll be dead. He got lucky on this one. He's, he'll be uh, uh, maybe a couple of guys will be fighting over some crack or something, and he'll try to jump in the middle. Hey, hey, I'm Subway Superman. Let me uh, step in here and, oh, no, the bullets aren't bouncing off. They're going right through them. Oh, boy, I thought I was uh, actually Superman. Nope, you're George Reeves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's go to Aaron in uh, Cincinnati. Aaron? Hey, boys, how you doing? Welcome aboard. Hey, What's up, Aaron? I want to know where all these people who are giving these, this guy this money and whatnot are for the soldiers who are doing this stuff every day. Yeah, I think soldiers are more heroes. Oh, my God. More hero-like than this guy. Goes on on a daily basis in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. Guys saving each other's lives, putting themselves in in danger. And, uh, yeah, they get crapped on. And uh, this guy does something completely irresponsible. All right, it worked out for the best. This easily could have been a story about two orphaned kids and a horrific bloodbath in the subway. Uh, but, you know, it just, through pure luck, it worked out. Where they can't even clean up the mess fast enough, the rats are just gnawing at pieces. Oh, you know, the just, rats have come out They're trying time. to just sweep up as much as they can. It would have been a story like that if it had been Bob Kelly that had fallen on some Oh, tracks. forget about it. 21 inches of clearance? They don't have six feet of clearance under those trains. Bob would have been fine, and the subway Superman would have just lost his back in the back of his skull. <laughs> Damn! He jumped down, down. Bob Kelly, where has, where has he been? Uh, you want to hear the audio from Letterman, Subway uh, Superman? Who doesn't want to hear this? Once again, here's Wesley explaining what he does. Oh, this makes you nervous. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome to the uh, program. Uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and what are you doing, stuff uh, like that. Originally, I was born in Florida. been here f- since I was like 12, mm-hmm. uh, military time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Sir, which branch of the military? Navy. 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 Yeah. Uh, Vietnam era. Okay. And uh, presently, I'm... But he wasn't a veteran. What happened? I, I don't think that. Is that a Vietnam vet? He said Vietnam era. Now, am I wrong? Is he a vet? I think he was calling Vietnam a mistake. He said Vietnam error. It wasn't even era. It was an error. We understand. Put it behind you. He uh, said he was in the Navy. Vietnam era. Era. Now, what this means is he perhaps was in the Coast Guard here uh, in the Navy, perhaps the Navy Reserve. I don't know. But it doesn't sound like he was in Vietnam. No. It sounds like he was in the Navy during Vietnam. I don't know now. I could be absolutely wrong. Uh, but it, he's not putting it across as if he served in well, Vietnam. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, did, did the Navy do a, t- a tremendous amount of Vietnam action? Uh, Long River, maybe. I I think uh, na- probably naval aviators, yeah. perhaps off of carriers. I don't think he does. That. Um, I think they did a little bit of uh, uh, sea bombardment, you know, things like that. But I I really don't think there was a huge naval action in Vietnam. Little uh, boats, you know. Little uh, boats going up the river, up the old Da Nang River. I just realized this guy did serve his country in the military, and he jumped on a tracks and saved a man's life. And I'm calling him like, no, no, wait, that faggot wasn't over in the Nam. What am I talking Bashing about? Him. Well, speaking of which, we got Tony in Brooklyn. Uh, Tony. Yeah. Let's go, Tony. 
Yeah, how come uh, you guys can, all you can do is criticize this guy? As a matter of fact, that's all you can do to everybody is criticize. Well, because we're dicks. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, figure it out. We're asses. We're really, really mean spirited, evil people who can't see the good in anything. We've been beaten down. Well, you know, Tony, there's, hold on, hold on, Tony, let me explain this to you, though. There's a, there's a bunch of radio stations, bunch of morning shows right now talking about how great this guy is. Go and listen to one of them, I guess. Listen, we want to we want to give you a different angle on things, and it's obvious. Oh, why don't you just continue talking? He's Tony from Brooklyn. Cowards! The city is filled with educated cowards. Is that what we are, Tony? No, you guys no. are funny, but you oh, thank you. Off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, actually, and you don't listen. We might make that into a promo. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That actually yeah, is going to be our new opener instead of that 10-minute virus yeah. promo. Oh, oh, keep God. talking. Well, why don't we have a conversation? Tony, go chase a black man across a highway, would you? Oh, come on, man. I'm driving. I got no time. <sighs> Tony from Brooklyn. Jeez, continue that stereotype. Hey, come on. Hey, you got to go. Oh, oh, you well, guys. He saved someone and you're making fun of it. I bet you're all over there eating meatballs this afternoon. Hey, I'm on, Jeff, for the subway. I'm on. You know, if, uh, even though this guy's a bull and young, I'd have him over my house. Like, ah, forbid. <laughs> God forbid. God <laughs> forbid. <laughs> Tony from Brooklyn, shut it. <laughs> Wally Cox was in a lot of Disney movies, was he? <laughs> Apparently <laughs> so. He also sucked Marlon Brando's cock. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you caught that, Al. Just wanted to test you early, Al. Is Al ever late for work? <laughs> I, I hope, hope not. not. That button just sitting there untouched <laughs> as he's speeding here. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to John in Jersey. John? Yeah, hi. How you doing, guys? Hey there, Jan. What's up, John? I just want to say, uh, well, Jimmy Norton's a dope because if he said he's in the Navy, of course he's a vet. You don't have to be in a war to be a vet. Well, you know what I mean. I'm saying, okay, you're right. I should say, uh... Veteran of foreign wars. I, that's what I meant, dude. Come on. Obviously, I didn't deny he was in the military. I didn't say, you know... All right, I'm sorry. I just feel bad for the guy who got a busted arm. I mean, the guy did a nice thing over there. Yeah, did he? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he did a nice thing over in Vietnam? No, I'm talking about on train tracks. Uh, he probably pushed the guy. <laughs> wow, am I the only one? He can't be nice. Am I the only one? Bes I mean, us and yeah. Are we the only ones that that see this differently? Yeah, he did a nice. Hold on, hold on, John, 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 John. Let's uh, let's break this down a little bit, okay? Do you have kids? Yeah, that's what I said. It was very irresponsible. I wouldn't have done it. I mean, the guy's a dope, but okay. he did a yeah. nice thing. We're just know? saying he's a dope. We're not even saying that he didn't do a nice thing. He saved a guy's life. That's fine and dandy. What a guy. But it was it was very irresponsible on his part. And someone ought to pay for some, some schooling for this gentleman. He's 50. Oh, yeah. He's 50. He, so you can never too old. He horrified his own children, man. Yeah. They're probably traumatized. A uh, day at uh, Disney World will... Yeah, that'll, that'll... That'll cure him. That'll clean the power. Cure whatever ails him. They'll look at the little choo-choo train that goes around the park and starts <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Daddy! Don't jump under the train! <laughs> Daddy! Just traumatize him. Little friggin' Disney train. <laughs> little Disney train comes around. <laughs> <laughs> no, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> You were in Disney recently. Yeah. You know this guy's going to be walking around uh, Disney World or is it land? Who cares? It's Disney World in Florida. All right, Disney World Quite in Florida. Quite an expansive entertainment down there. And you know he's going to be walking around the park being the guy like, oh, 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 be careful. Oh, oh, like careful. holding children back. To trying to be a Disney hero. All right. Oh, do you think of me like, <laughs> oh, yeah. you know. <laughs> Please stand away from the monorail doors when they shut. Now everybody stands away from them dough because you could get a uh, severely injury. Make sure your left feet and your right feet is inside the car at all times. Ladies and gentlemen, there will be no flash photography during this segment of the show. Watch out for them flashes. It could put an eye out or something. Your your pupils could slam shut and hurt your retina. He just wants people to feel safe around him. Right. Feel safe. He'll save me. And make way for the Disney Electrical Parade making its way down Main Street. Oh, get out of the way! Someone could get electrocuted. <laughs>
Oh, you know. You know that's what he's going to do. He's going to walk around. One day, Disney's going to be like, get this guy out of here. It's a small world. (laughs) What is he going to do with the... uh, Look out! No, the children are going to hurt themselves. Watch out. The sombrero take an eye out. All right. When we get back, we'll do the Subway Superman hero dude from Letterman audio. How's that? I didn't like that hug... Dave gave him a little whisper in the ear. Yeah. And I didn't. I got nothing. What do you think he said to him there? Good job. I'm glad you're not Jim Norton. <laughs> I got a brief, polite handshake on the steps on the way up. I didn't want to stop. Yeah. How about a hug from me, Dave? And when we were on Letterman, hug. when we were on Letterman, we had to walk through a minefield of <laughs> tennis, tennis balls. balls. <laughs> Jesus. Where was the subway uh, hero uh, then? <laughs> right. Trying to save us. Yeah, we could have sprained an ankle. Could have twisted a little ankle there. Where was the subway Superman to lean in my car window and go, Jim, that's not a girl. <laughs> Where was he then? <laughs> Nowhere to be found. <laughs> I probably would have went, get out of here. I know. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I wish they would find out. And it's because we're evil here, but I wish they would find out that there was some kind of thing in his past that would make the paper because the news then would just be all over it. I'm going to go with a, with a 1982 conviction. Just of something. Please make it something like um, burglary or robbery so they could put man of steel and spell it like he stole stuff. <laughs> 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 you know they would do that. Subway so Superman, man of steel. <laughs> something else. horrible. Something. The guy did something good, and we're just scum. Something else is going to come out about this. Because now the press has to knock him down. Right. They the did. press made him a hero. Make him a hero. And now they got to find something really, really bad about this guy. Time to get the axe and take him out at the knees, man. <laughs> Even if it's something really, really stupid, they'll yeah. find it. There's something going on. Because that's what the media does. We all know that by now. Yeah. They build you up, and then they knock you down. We just do away with that pesky build-you-up part. Yeah, we go right to the knock-you-down part. (laughs) (laughs) All right. uh, uh, In the middle of talking about the Subway Superman, the hero. He was on Letterman last night. We were just getting into the audio, and then we went on a dumb tangent. Yeah, we do that. By the way, people asking if if, uh, there's any sighting this morning. As far as the new girl goes, outside the window here? Yeah, we got a building across from us, and we can see in the windows. And uh, there was a new girl yesterday with her clothes off, and Iraq alerted us. Um, Johnny on the spot over there told us right after she put her clothes on, thanks for nothing. And uh, we've been looking for her this morning, but no sight. Shades are down today. What was mm. she doing, Iraq, when you were watching her? she having a snack? That's why you didn't want to run away? <laughs> That looks delicious. What is she eating? <laughs> Shades are down today, unfortunately. So we'll uh, we'll keep you we'll keep you updated on that. All right, here we go. Right back to the audio. Oh, this makes you nervous. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome to the uh, program. Uh, and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? And what are you doing? Stuff uh, like that. Originally, I was born in Florida. Been here f- since I was like 12. Mm-hmm. Uh, military time. Mm-hmm. And uh, sir, which branch of the military? Navy. 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 Uh, Vietnam era. Okay, and uh, presently I'm okay. presently I'm I'm doing construction work. I work with Local 79, and presently I'm with a company called TNS Manage- Management Service. We does uh, work in all the okay. public schools. There it is. We does work. We does work in the schools. Can I please hear that part again? We does work. Oh. We, <laughs> I, 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 I'm flabbergasted. Maybe there's another hero out there that wants to save his vocabulary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're finding someone should find have, it, right. Someone should have run out from the audience and just jumped on this guy to stop him from embarrassing himself anymore. <laughs> save this man. <laughs> Presently, I'm, I'm doing construction work. I work with Local 79, and presently, I'm with a company called TNS Manage, Management Service. We does uh, work in all the public schools. Mm-hmm. We does work. Oh, no. We does work. And they're saying he's 50. Someone... Uh, 74, 84, 94. Are you figuring out, too? Um, How about this? He was born in 1956. 56, 60. Six, probably, he was probably in the military 76, in 74. 75, 74. Yeah, he could have been in in 74, maybe even 73. It's pretty much after 
everything was over. Era. That's why he said era. It's like the area around. It's, I would look like when, when I lived in New Jersey, I live in the New York era. It's kind of like you're right around it. You're not quite in it, but you're over the river. You're near enough. That's yeah. The, mm -hmm. All right. They were changing the logos uh, when he was in. Oh, believe me. He was one of the guys probably on the Navy ship pu pushing the uh, Hueys overboard after all the refugees were being dropped off on the deck. <laughs> believe me, there's nothing going on over there. Well, we get to hear him explain what happened on the platform on Letterman last night. I get to the guy. He's flat on the back. He's, uh, like, choking on his saliva. And, uh, but he, he's I, still now on the platform no, at that no, point. No, 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 no. He's on the platform. On the platform then. Thing is, wait, wait. Two seats. Dave said, so he's still on the platform. No, 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 no. He's on the platform. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm no, no, sorry. No, 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 no. That's incorrect. No, 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 Dave. You think that he might have pushed him onto the tracks? I'm starting to think, Daddy. <laughs> Why did Daddy push? Be quiet. We go to Disney World. I'm going to go to Disney World for free. He's on the platform. On the platform then. thing is, he had two seizures. He had one on the platform. And uh, what happened, I got to illustrate this a little bit. He oh, no. is vomiting and, 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 and foaming and whatever, right? Vomiting. The man was vomiting? He was vomiting, Jimmy. He was what? Vom vomiting. Or vomiting. Straight this a little bit. He is vomiting and, and, and foaming and, and whatever, right? So I like, uh, I raise him up. I asked him one for a pen because it looked like he was choking on his tongue right. or something. I placed a pen in his yeah. mouth. I cleared his throat. His breathing came back to normal. His focus came back to normal. Wait, oh, what? Well, the man was vomiting. I, wait, he's vomiting. Wait, he was vomiting on the platform before he fell onto the tracks, and he did all these procedures I, before the guy fell onto the track. This is the he first. A coke. This is the first I've heard of this. He was having a seizure, and this guy got his uh, breathing back to normal by putting a pen in his mouth because he was vomiting. Vomiting, yeah. And he did all this before all the right. guy fell onto the tracks. Before he fell on the tracks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then he vomited on my shoes. And I kicked him onto the tracks because I was angry at him. <laughs> All right, well. And now uh, Wesley explains how he got onto the track. We figured he was okay. He walked off. He was beginning to stumble and wobble this way, left, right. And he went to lean on a pillow, and he just fell over a in the pillow? pillow. You get pillows on the subway? There's pillows down there, uh, tons of them. Wait a minute. Of course, they're made out of cement and support the roof. So after and are you are called pillars. Oh no! Did he say what he, <laughs> he out said? Pillows, pillows. So after you vomitin, you vomitin, and, and then yeah, there's you, there's a pillow, and then there's a pillow. He, he, he leaned, leaned against to, the pillow, right, to maybe get uh, you know his balance back or whatever. Yeah, and this is after a full day of doesn't work at the schools. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Dan in Philly. Dan, what's up? Yeah, where's Grammar Man at when you need him? <laughs> Grammar Man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. Come uh, on. Ron in New York, what's up? Hey, Ron. Hey, why don't you leave this poor guy alone? What we're, we're just commenting on something everyone is noticing. Should we yeah, just shut up really and ignore it? Ron. You're being really harsh on this guy. You know, he saved somebody's life. Yeah, I know, but just because he saved someone's life, which we said is a great, noble thing to do, why can't people call out what everyone is noticing? Everyone is noticing this guy is a blithering idiot. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, he's not an idiot. He just, you know... He, have, he he's not an idiot. Yes, he is. He's, he's, he's definitely an idiot. He said vomiting. Not an idiot. Just lacks common sense. Sir, Not he, common sense. It would be he would, education or he said, ignorant. He if, said vomiting. He said vomiting and then something about a pillow. Yeah, but, you know, it, Sir, listen, if, if he I called a pillar a pillow. And this guy jumped on top of me, yeah, I'd be a little weirded out, but hey, he saved my life. Sir, he said pillow. He wanted to lean on a pillow. He meant pillar. <laughs> and how about this? Maybe the guy didn't need saving. <laughs> Maybe that train was just going to roll over him yeah. anyway. You're right. You know what? You're absolutely right. <laughs> get out of here. Thank you. All right, let's get back to the audio. Using Jedi mind tricks on that guy. Wait, we're up to three, though. What was the first one? The first thing? He does. Said? He does. does he, it, this today, just, he yeah. does. I does a lot of work in the, in the school. I does a lot, right. Yeah. And then it was vomiting. 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 
and he wants to lean on a pillow. A pillow a in the subway. Because they're all yeah. over the place for you. Yes, uh -huh. they are. So you can take a break. It's the VIP room at headquarters. That's where the train comes <laughs> through. And he went to lean on a pillow, and he just <laughs> fell over in the track backwards right in the gutter. Yeah. And I ran over, and I, I'm looking down. I ran, ran over. I over. train. I ran over. He ran over. That's wrong on six different levels. <laughs> In the gutter, yeah. and I ran over, and I, I'm looking down. There's an oncoming train. I'm like, "Wow, what do I do?" And the train that just pulled out and took all the guys. I'm the only guy there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so you're there with your kids, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm like looking, and I'm like, "Well, what do I do?" And he's kicking his legs, and his legs and hands is going all on the train tracks. And I'm like, "Yo, this guy gonna lose limbs or something or his life if somebody don't help right. him." Yo, fool, you got to go in and help him. And I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's exactly what I said to myself. Yeah. All right, well, you got to give him one there. It's a nice you got to give him break. one there, right there. That's good. He's fair is fair. He called he, himself a fool. He's calling himself a fool. Let's he go to Dominic. He was irresponsible. With him. He finally said something they could all relate to. Like, God, yes, you yes. are a fool. <laughs> you fool. Oh. Applause. Yes, you They're have... all relieved that he knows it. You called your foot feet twice. <laughs> Let's go to Dominic. Dominic. Oh, and hey, good morning, little Jimmy. Hey. Welcome aboard, right. Dom. All right, is it safe to say this guy is a pillow of the community? A pillow of the community. It certainly yes. is. All right. See you later. <laughs> All right, very All right. good. And uh, Jason from Brooklyn. What's up, Jason? Good morning, guys. Hey, hey Jason. As a black man who lives in, in New York City, this guy's embarrassing the hell out of me. And I think this is more of a, was he from Florida? <clears throat> That's what he said. doesn't matter. The, the English language is universal, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> the, guy's, the guy's killing me. Even Ebonics can't save this guy. Yeah, this is this, really uh, bad. Anthony. Uh, yeah. <laughs> one, one more thing. As a construction worker, wouldn't he know the difference between pillow and pillar? Yeah, are you better? Yeah. Punch it out. Uh, he's not putting up uh, some ceilings with pillows under him. I know. Maybe he's working for Robert Reed, the fancy house that that lady wanted, the big uh, Mike Brady. The powder puff yeah. house? <laughs> I wanted to open like a compact. This guy just, Oh, that's silly. This guy's just making a bunch of one-floor soft houses that are collapsible. <laughs> In addition to, to saying, I, I've got to help this guy, mm -hmm. you thought that you didn't want your daughters who were with you to have to witness something exactly. horrific like this. Yes. So you, you handed them to a, a bystander and said, here, take, take no, care of my daughters. What happened was the two ladies that was assisting me, they took my took kids, daughters. right? Yeah. Because when the guy fell, I looked back at the ladies, and I'm like, yo, hold my kids. Down. So he I did again. Down. Could you please replay that? That again, Dave describes exactly what happens, and this guy goes, "No, no," and then says exactly what Dave said. Start from the beginning. Just the part. That, where, that's a, that's quick. Yeah. In addition to to saying, I, "I've got to help this guy," mm -hmm. you thought that you didn't want your daughters who were with you to have to witness something exactly. horrific like this. Yes. So you, you you handed them to a handed them to. Yeah, take, oh, take no, care what happened daughters. was no. the two ladies that was assisting me. They took my took kids, daughters, right? Yeah. Because when the guy fell, I looked back at the ladies and I'm like, "Yo, hold my kids. Hold my kids. I got to go do <laughs> right. this." Right. So th th this is an interesting facet of this because not only are you protecting uh, the guy who uh, mm -hmm. had the problem, Cameron, uh, and yourself, you're really also protecting your, your young daughters. Yes. So uh, it's, it's the instinct of a father there yes, in, in, exactly. in many different ways. Come on. Where were the applause? Come on. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, Wesley says what he was thinking as the cars went over his head. <laughs> um, oh, boy. <laughs> Right. All right. Uh, moving on. We only have a couple more clips here from Letterman last night. Wesley says what he was thinking as the cars went over his head. As the cars are passing above you, the thoughts going through your head that you remember? Yes. Uh, the only thing I was saying was I had to talk to this guy, keep him calm, and I'm like, listen, don't push me back because if, if he push up on me, you know, the train is going to either snag my jacket and yeah. I'm going to get drugged. Right. So I'm like, yo, please. Wait, a train could drug you? Yeah, yeah apparently uh, it can, apparently according it to Wesley. Under, <laughs> apparently this train had stupid gas under it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never seen us called uh, the a the a hole word more in my life. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's coming in like crazy. Well, the the poor kid that got rescued. Um, yeah. Boy, this honeymoon's about over. Yeah. He's commenting on uh, 
Wesley, uh, the hero that saved him. It was all because of this terrible, awful Negro. <laughs> you know, no gratitude. No gratitude. That's a good That's a good thing, too. Like, don't push me off. That's kind of like when you're thinking, like, the guy's coming, coming out and he just hears all this noise and the guy's on top of him. Your instinct would be to push him off. Oh, yeah. You kind of suck your helping a guy and you get dragged. Drugged. 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 Don't, uh... No, yeah. no. You get drugged. Drugged, right, Jimmy. Push up on me. You know, the train is going to either snack my jacket and yeah. I'm going to get drugged. Right. So I'm like, yo, please, stay still, stay still. And then, like I said, it, it was so noisy up top. And, you know, my two girls was up there and I didn't know who <laughs> had them. So I had to scream out, everybody be quiet. There's two young girls up there. I'm their daddy. Let them know that their daddy is okay. Yeah. As oh, a train oh, was going oh, over him? Nutty as a fruitcake. <laughs> Could he have yelled something quieter? There's two young girls. They're black. They're about four. How about daddy's okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. This. Do they think they're going to confuse him with my dad's on the train tracks? Well, which one, honey? There's 40 people down there. <laughs> <laughs> my two girls. Yeah, my two girls. Ah, uh, Jim in <sighs> Pennsylvania. What's up, Jim? Hey, Jim. Hey, man. Hey, you know that uh, Mini Me commercial with Geico, where they, you know, you have the person standing there and they're talking, and then they have the uh, yeah, the spokesman, the actor, yeah, the sure, the professional yeah, spokesperson. Yeah. yeah, that's what he, he needs. Go for uh, Vern Rule or whatever his name is. Yeah, he, he, we, they should have had one of those on Letterman last night. I think Jim commented on the superhero. He stinks, and I don't like him. Wow. You're a one-trick pony with superheroes, <laughs> Spider-Man <laughs> and this guy. <laughs> Let's go to Todd in Massachusetts. Todd. Hey, Owen. Hey, hey Jimmy. How you guys doing? Godspeed. All Thanks. right. Hey, how would you like to be the guy doing closed captioning for this show and trying to read along with it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what does a closed captioning guy do? Just starts pounding the keyboards with his fists. <laughs> <laughs> this should be good enough. <clears throat> Just punches the keyboard. Do you think they correct it? On the uh, closed captioning? A little bit. But do you think they correct, this? like, drug? Yeah, they and, probably and, do. And, and does work? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Sometimes I just type I, in quickly. I don't I, time. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Tom in Kentucky. Tom? By the way, the closed captioning people screw up all the time anyway. They're, That's yeah. true. Yeah. Tom, yeah, what's up? More people doing good things that Didn't are idiots. Yeah, we suck. Didn't I hear this guy being interviewed in the South somewhere, something about looking for a leprechaun up in a street? <laughs> oh, can we play leprechaun going into break today? Do we yeah, we'll that? do that. Thank yeah. you, Tom. Thanks. We'll explain that uh, to Syracuse in a second. All right, then finally, Wesley explains how he feels as a lifesaver. How do you how do you feel now knowing that you're one person on this planet who has saved another life? Well, if I had to do it again, I'd do it again. I mean, like, I yeah. think that's something that all New Yorkers oh, should, should do. Because, I mean, like, when, before that train left, it was like 75 or maybe 80 people on the platform, but only three people came to that guy assistance. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, we got young men and women over in Iraq who fighting for our freedom so that we can have the, the, the choice to make the right choice and how are you going to walk by someone who's ill and just look oh well I'm busy I got to go to work mm -hmm. yeah. you know I mean you know, come on. That's oh it. wow well this, this guy's going to get himself killed I was profound he did say young men's um, yeah but uh, wrong yeah, more than one it was kind of a stretch to throw the troops in t for that yeah but at least I, I like the fact he's pro military and he did give them a good mention the freedom to Jump onto train tracks is what they're fighting for. Yeah, this wasn't exactly a civil liberties issue. No, not quite the freedom to... I, uh, I, uh, troops do I, fight for all of our freedoms, but I, I don't think, you know, when you look at the Constitution, that doesn't really tie in with just saving a guy. Well... By the way, you know, when you're, when you're telling these little stories, here's a good idea. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. Yeah. Oh, uh, well... God bless the guy. What, what can I tell you? You smoke crack, don't you? You smoke crack, don't you? Look at me, boy. Don't you smoke crack? <laughs> Stephen Queens, uh, maybe he's not brave, just stupid. Hmm. The guy's going to get himself killed. He, he got lucky this time, but uh, he's going to do it again. Wow. And the results are going to be a lot different, unfortunately. Uh, well, if it's not and he saves another person, this guy will just be, maybe he is a superhero. Look, I was a, I was a hero recently. I was getting a, uh, some Starbucks, and uh, I was outside with my Starbucks enjoying it. And a lady comes out, yeah. and she had a uh, a big latte of some sort, yeah. and she tripped and fell, and and keys and cell phone and 
and pocketbook went flying oh my all God. over what, the place. What did you do? Wow. And latte all over the place. And I helped her up. You, you would you grab her arm or by yeah, the hair? I assisted her. <laughs> Pull her up by the hair. <laughs> you know, when that type of thing happens, of course, as a New Yorker, I threw you threw my out. body on top of her and told her to be still. Well, you know, I mean, you guys have your small little ways of helping, but I actually did directly save somebody's life. You did, you? Yeah. He's lying. See? No, I'm not. You can see in the eyes. It's silly, but I mean, it's embarrassing <laughs> to admit, but I did save a girl's life. Yeah? I put a condom on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay, that's not a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I...